there is a massive forest fire as we were coming through the park. We could actually see it from the highway, where we just didn't like the idea of being able to see a forest fire from where we were planning on camping. Our eco diesels have hit 118 degree engine temperature and like it seems like they've just cut all the power. I think this is the very first time I've ever been disappointed with this vehicle. All right, guys, we are heading back to the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia this week. My name is Casey, and behind me is my 2020 Eco Diesel Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. We are about to embark on a four day epic journey heading east in British Columbia out towards the Rocky Mountains. Dude, what are you doing? Hey, man. What's up? Are you coming? What are you doing on that thing? This That's isn't fine. a story till now. Can we, can we bring the jet ski? Get in here, let's get going. All right, let's Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris from Volaire Media. Trying to catch the five o'clock ferry. We got about 20 minutes to get there <laughs> and make our reservation. Went over, we're gonna meet up with the guys over at Epic. I'll show you who all's coming, but we've got a huge Dirty and Dangerous crew going out this weekend. We got Chris shooting with us. What's up? This is basically the same camping trip we went on last year for August long weekend out in the Kootenai Mountains near the Rocky Mountains, super far east in BC, like 10 hour drive once we get off the island. And so I brought Chris along to show him because it was so awesome. And he's gonna help us film and fly the drone. So I'm hoping these next couple of vlogs are gonna have some just wicked, wicked shots. I'm not hoping, they are gonna have some wicked, wicked shots. So tonight we're gonna get over to the mainland, meet up with the crew over at Epic. I'll show you all who's coming. And then we're gonna head east and do a little camping tonight and finish our drive. So we're gonna have two or three more vlogs after this of this awesome road trip. So stay tuned. But first, we gotta make that ferry and we got one minute extra according to Google Maps. So let's get going. Is he here? He's over there, yeah, let's go check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back here, Epic Adventure Outfitters once again, our home away from home. This is our assembly point. Obviously, Sean from the story till now is coming with us. We've got Con back there. Paul, what's going on? Welcome, man. How's it going? Good to see you. Chris Paul. Boom, I got some merch for you guys. Oh, excellent. We got the new Safety Second shirts yeah, for this trip that. only. Uh, stickers. Woo! Get these at dirtyanddangerous.com. <laughs> it's all sorts of Stickers. Ah! They're custom ones. Wrong. Thank you, sir. Safety second. second Safety man. second. So I brought one for Landon. Oh, one for you, it. sir. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yes, we will put a very limited number of these on dirtyanddangerous.com because I only printed a couple extra. What so, are we on Dirty and Dangerous safety second. Safe. Beauty. This is like basically our motto. Eh? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Dustin, Island Gladiator in the Gladiator. And of course, we're bringing Chef John with us because who's going to cook if he's not here? See? Yeah, man, it's been a minute. It's <laughs> we got the moose. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're just assembling the crew. We got to wait for the ginger and his crazy supercharged Mojave Gladiator. <laughs> Dude, that thing's, uh, that thing's wild sounding yeah, coming in here, eh? So I teased you guys on a story or a short a little while ago, but the ginger has supercharged the Mojave with a ripped supercharger. And look at this under here. Man, that just barely fits in there. Look at that. Oh, look out in this big intercooler. We got the intercooler up front. Gonna give us a start and some revs. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you go check out Epic Adventure Outfitters YouTube channel because they've been uh, vlogging this build and the first dyno runs and when they dyno it again with the RIP Supercharger on here, I'm sure there will be a video to come. We got a couple hour drive before we get to camp and we got to pick up Teddy from Unwinding Roads who's meeting us mid-flight. So let's get going. You brought some more gas, right Christian? You brought jerry cans for that thing? 
full of premium. So he does need to run premium in there. So not like the Eco Diesel. Although we got check engine lights, we got a good fuel economy. Kind of made our way up into the mountains from from Epic uh, since leaving. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, but the goal for today was to put in a couple hours of driving and set up camp. We're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful morning when we get up, but we wanted to cut this drive down because it's about a 10 or 11 hour drive out to where we're meeting Clint from Dirt Garage. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but uh, there is some fires right there. There is a massive forest fire as we were coming through the park and uh, we could actually see it from the highway. We got a couple clips, They're not. it's kind of hard but I think the camera caught it. Um, but we decided to keep driving for another hour and get past that forest fire. We just didn't like the idea of being able to see a forest fire from where we were planning on camping. And we're going to take a look and see what wreck sites are not too far off the highway we might be able to pop into. It's about 11 o'clock. We'll have a little team meeting. Remember. Teddy and Cynthia from Unwinding Roads joined us mid-flight. We'll figure out where we're gonna camp, I guess, and yeah. get away from that fire it's area. Crazy. Yeah, we don't want to be too close to that, so we're, I think we're a little, a little safer here. Are you, are you filling that thing up again? Didn't well, we just didn't fill up? Two tanks yet? <laughs> I just stopped because they got my brand. It's got the 94 here. I'm like, hey, why not? Your well, favorite flavor of fuel? Yeah, well, the favorite flavor. <laughs> Fluffy really enjoys it. <laughs> Is that what, what you uh, coined it, Fluffy? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so quick Google Maps and uh, checking our Gaia Maps. And you guys are always asking how do we find places and how do we navigate? Gaia Maps, Google Maps. Uh, we quickly checked. There's a FSR only 15 minutes from here. Hopefully we can set up some camp before midnight and get some sleep. But we knocked another hour off our drive, so tomorrow's drive is only going to be about five hours or so. Are you vlogging? Are you ready? Ready. You're ready? ready? Ready for adventure? And let's get going. Finally got camp set up. Uh, just a random location off uh, FSR here in the mountains. We're gonna wake up in the sunshine in the morning and see exactly where we are. So one of the fun parts of these adventures is ending up somewhere when it's dark and letting the light reveal in the mornings. We'll be right back. Good little sleep. Well, you guys wanted to know where we're waking up. Had a nice little view outside of the Free Spirit Evolution this morning. Really in super a super exciting spot. Just kind of a bit of a bit of a logging clearing here. We just got everything packed up real quick. Drive for a few hours, grab some lunch, grab some more coffee, and we're meeting Clint from Dirt Garage in his hometown of Cranbrook, British Columbia and then we're gonna head into the mountains tonight, set up camp at our starting location of this awesome trail that he's got planned for us this weekend. I'm really looking forward to this, but I need to get some coffee in me. Just made it, haven't drank it. And then we're gonna get back on the road. Stop, what, what's wrong with your Jeep? You got no AC? No AC. Uh, it's <laughs> checking the in-cabin air filter. It uh, needs a little clean. Stuff falling off of it. <laughs> uh, Sean was dying in his Jeep because it's so hot. <laughs> you want to blow it off with an air compressor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> that looks like my air filter when I pulled it out. <laughs> Does your AC work? We're gonna find out. <laughs> oh yeah. Better? That's like excellent. A hundred times more <laughs> airflow than I had. Both Paul and I are stuck at like 75 kilometers an hour. Our 
eco diesels have hit 118 degree engine temperature and like it seems like they've just cut all the power so it's not an issue with just mine because paul's having the same problem he can't go any faster here and it is warm out it's 34 degrees 35 degrees see the coolant temperature is 118 degrees celsius everybody else is just flowing past us all the gas motors and paul and i are just crawling up this hill here at uh, 80 80 kilometers an hour 79 kilometers an hour right now and uh 118 degree coolant temp. Now I don't have I don't have a regear. I still have those factory 373s, but Paul is regeared to 456s on his Gladiator, so it's not a regearing issue and a transmission issue because we're both seeing the same problem. But clearly the eco diesels, when they hit 118, they cut the boost or cut the power or whatever to I guess save the motor. But uh, it really kind of sucks only doing 80 kilometers an hour crawling up these hills. So there you go. I think this is the very first time I've ever been disappointed with this vehicle. We made it to the dirt garage. We made it. I gotta we made go. It to the dirt garage. I need... Right there. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to seeing the dirt floor in the dirt garage. I need to go personally inspect yeah. this garage for dirt to, floors exactly. here. Yeah, yeah let's go. Over here, I heard there's a dirt garage here somewhere. Hey! How's it going? You found, you, you found the place of all the Toyotas. <laughs> right? Around. I know. How's it going, man? You guys Good. know Clint from Dirt Garage? Yeah. Oh, this we get to see the inside. Oh, no Look at stuff everywhere. Is it true? Oh, it's not dirt! Weird, eh? Super weird. Oh, it's man. Concrete. Disappointed. This looks totally different in person. That's yeah. That's your cell. <laughs> here we are. A little different in person than it is. When there's a truck yeah. in here, it's not. It's here. not. It's big, pretty yeah, tight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, botting the bed gave yeah, me yeah. so much space in yeah, here. Just that one foot yeah. made a huge difference because, yeah, <laughs> the truck would just barely clear there yeah. and yeah. I'd be working on it. Like, like, like back here. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no God. dirt floor. It's not a dirt floor. No dirt walls. Critical sticker for your garage. The dirty and dangerous. I mean, if anywhere needs a dirty and dangerous. Right. There. Yay! <laughs> I haven't seen uh, Clint's uh, Gambler 500 Toyota. Look at that bumper. Oh, you're looking at the Corolla? <laughs> yeah, man. Custom fabbed. All right, we're gonna load up real quick. We're a little behind schedule, as always. And we've got, uh, we're gonna go grab dinner at a local pub before we head out on the trail tonight. Cranbrook gas station takeover with every Jeep. <laughs> it's to fill up. Just loading up fuel for Casey when he runs out. Uh, that's not a uh, diesel. I know. <laughs> It'll work just fine. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> quick stop to grab some fuel. We came from Clint's Dirt Garage to a quick pub stop. Had some crazy nachos with steak on them, but they were delicious. And it was just great to hang out with everybody and have a dinner before we head out to the trail. But now we're stopped here, grabbing some fuel, a little gas station takeover. It is hot. It's almost 40 degrees here in Cranbrook. We're cooking, sweating, it's humid. And so I'm looking forward to maybe getting into some elevation. Hopefully it's not too smoky up there. After a long, dusty trek up the side of this mountain, we are at about 2,200 meters, and there's this crazy high altitude communication radio or something like that. Clint was saying they use it for a high altitude aircraft to talk to in this region. Got all the rigs here behind us, and uh, everybody's just kind of looking at this sun going down which is just super orange. And there's a lot of fire, forest fires in the in the areas around British Columbia. So we're keeping to areas that are still open. And if there was no smoke, we'd be able to see for kilometers and kilometers, like just super, super far off into the distance because we're pretty much above everything else around us. Uh, we got to go down this ridge a little bit and then we'll set up camp and wait for the night. Yeah, we'll awesome. camp up high here Wicked. somewhere. But nice yeah. spot, it's cooled off quite a bit, which is nice. Like you just see the temperature dropping down. So when we started out, it was 35, 37 degrees. I put a hoodie on. Not available at dirtyanddangerous.com. I'm going to do a run of these and a run of these. 
<laughs> if you guys buy all of them, I'll do Me? another bigger yeah. one. Uh, and a, we're gonna do a run of Chef John. We're gonna run a Chef John. Limited. You can buy him for a night. made it to our final destination. We're gonna call it a day. Let me know what you guys think of this video because I wanted to bring you guys along on one of our long journeys to get to some of our off-road spots. And so I thought I'd just vlog the whole trip and give you guys the full experience. If you liked it, leave a like. If you got any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.